this is a culmination as to why I have trust issues. <laughs> Hey you guys, welcome to my channel. Aries is an Aries. My name is Will, and today I'm going to talk to you about books that I DNF'd, aka did not finish. There have been a plethora of reasons as to why I did not finish these series um, that are on my list. I am not one to not finish basically anything in my life. Once I start out doing something, um, I do my best to complete it. DNFing is so strange to me. Like, I'm still getting used to it. Um, it's, to me, it's like giving up on one of my children. And I just, I just can't. I don't understand. However, I am still finding out that DNFing is okay because it's opening up a broader world and horizon for me to figure out exactly the books that I really like and that I really enjoy and it's just giving me more time to sit down and be able to consume those type of stories. So without further ado, let's just get right into this. The first series that I DNF'd is the Maze Runner series. Now, do not get me wrong. The first book was really, really good. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, I felt like I was there with these characters amongst all the turmoil and chaos that they had to go through. Basically, we follow the tale of Thomas and how he is struggling with his recollection. We see Thomas amongst all of these other gladers, is what they're called, as they struggle and fight for survival throughout this gigantic maze. I was all in it. I got through the second and third book. However, James Dashner came out with not one prequel, but two prequels. And the one prequel I gave up on was the first, and that is The Kill Order. And I feel so bad because we are introduced to new characters. We are introduced to the beginnings of the chaos and the mayhem that transpires down through the Maze Runner and exactly what those characters are going through and what they're fighting for. Basically, we are thrown into the world at the very beginning of when these massive, devastatingly solar flares begins to scorch the entire world and inflict infections upon the population. There is no cure. However, amongst all of that, I still just could not connect to like these new characters. I mean, like, we are thrown into mass chaos. Can I get a bit of danger? Can I feel your struggle? No? Okay. DNF. The next book or series that I DNF'd is the Crusade series by Nancy Holder and Debbie the Gay. I believe that's how you say it, and I am so sorry if I butcher any more names. So basically, we are following this main character, Jen, as she trains in this elite academy to battle the Curse Ones. It's basically another vampire trope novel, um, and it came out right on the cusp of when the Twilight Saga was at its peak. And... I really wanted to give this like a good solid try. I think my bookmark says that I left off on page 44, but you guys, I just honestly could not get into it. I think only because like the whole vampire situation, as quickly as it came, it left. And in all honesty, like no lie, I'm kind of happy about it. Like it just, not my cup of tea. And you know what? That's all right. We're going to let it be all right. It is what it is. The next series that I DNF'd was another YA novel. Um, it is The Air Chronicles. Um, I remember reading this as a young adult, obviously. Wow. 
I remember getting through the first three books. We follow the character of Jack and his discovery of being one of these magical warriors. Um, and he's thrown into like this magical tournament because the the heirs of like the warriors are very like rare. There's not many of them within like this whole magical realm. So he's like a rare breed and he is chosen against like these two opposing magical houses, the Red Rose and the White Rose. He's trained up in the way to become like this magical warrior and to fight on one of these opposing sides. Again, I got through the second and the third novel, but in all honesty, I could not even tell you or begin to recollect anything about what happened within those books. I had bought the fourth book, the Enchanter Air, but I was like, am I really going to get to this? Is it really that serious? Did I really like this world? Did I want to be thrown back into this world? And the answer was no, I really, really don't. And again, that's okay. All right, you guys. The next series that I DNF'd and I am pretty sure that 98% of the entire world probably DNF this series. Um, and that series, hopefully it's going to pop up right over here. In this corner is the Fifty Shades of Grey series. I still have not forgiven myself for even buying these books. I don't know what happened. I think I was just trying to keep up with my best friend who was reading them at the time. They were Twilight fan fiction, so I said, okay, all right. I sorta kinda a little bit enjoyed the Twilight saga, and so... I followed Anastasia and you know what? I did not have a good time. I got through the first and second book by the skin of my teeth and made it all the way to Fifty Shades Freed. You guys, I don't think I made it past page three. Just know. My next series that I DM after you guys was the Divergent series. Again, this is another series that basically came off the cusp or was thrown in um, during that time when dystopian sci-fi um, novels were like such a huge deal, like The Hunger Games and The Maze Runner. And we follow Beatrice, aka Tris, as she undergoes this test um, to figure out which type of faction during this dystopian world that she truly belongs in. As she undergoes the test, she figures out that she is divergent, which basically means that she can belong in any of the five factions that she so chooses. However, the government views that as quite dangerous, I believe. It's been a long time since I've actually heard anything or read anything or even looked anything up about this this series. Like I I even tried watching the films like a, a long time ago and like they were okay, but like they weren't anything that serious. I think it was because like The Hunger Games was such a huge deal um, and like I actually could feel like all of that danger and I felt for like those kids and like my mind could actually be thrown into like the Hunger Games. This however I didn't exactly get that. Like okay her mind is different. Okay she is talented. She's gifted. All right let her be. I just didn't understand. So I stopped at the second book which is Insurgent. And that's all I'm going to say about it. Oh, I'm going to get canceled for this. The next series that I'm going to apologize in advance for that I DNF'd and I DNF'd it quite hard is the series of unfortunate events. You guys, I don't know how you did it if you finished this series. I honestly do not know. You are miracle workers. You have prayed prayers and the Lord has answered it. And 
unfortunately that prayer was not answered for me i'm not gonna go too much into this series because it's a pretty big enough series that i'm quite sure that everyone knows about i mean we follow the Baudelaire siblings violet violet <laughs> klaus and sunny as they are thrown into foster home after foster home basically after this mysterious fire killed their parents throughout this whole entire ordeal count olaf of course is out to get and take and steal the Baudelaire's leftover fortune. Um, basically, we follow the kids as they encounter even more turmoil and more turmoil and chaos and destruction throughout the 13 books, you guys. And if that wasn't bad enough, they're repetitive. We follow the narrator, Lemony Snicket, as he dedicates each and every single book to his deceased love interest, Beatrice again and okay we get it you were really really in love with her and I'm all for it however you were telling the tale of these three children these three children who have seen more than enough of their share of destruction and mayhem and just depression and negativity why aren't you helping them and you know what is his name Lemony because he's just so melancholy and depressed and bitter? I left off on book 10. Yeah, my poor book is messed up from the Ruta to the Tuta. And I'm so sorry about that to every single book lover out there. Um, but yeah, I just, I couldn't do three, four more books of the repetitiveness of Count Olaf chasing after them to acquire their their fortune, them being thrown into another foster situation. It was just so much and I was already so depressed and I just couldn't deal with any of it. The next series that I DNF'd is Children of Blood and Bone by Tomi Adeyomi. Now, I've heard so many mixed reviews about this novel. Um, and like when I, fir when I first bought it, like I was only paying attention to like the good reviews um, because I know that Tomi Adeyomi basically wrote this book because she was inspired by a lot of the black oppression that is happening in the world, the police brutality. She was inspired by West African mythology and the Yoruba culture. And it really piqued my interest um, because we follow Zule, I believe her, you, how you, I believe that's how you pronounce her name. Um, and we follow Zule and how she struggles to bring magic back to the Magi, which she is, it's her people basically, and to the rest of the kingdom. However, the narratives we are told through three different points of views and each and every single one of them was so completely dull and they just kept doing things even though they were like early adults, maybe late teenagers around that area. Like they just kept doing things that they knew that they should not have or just repeating the same mistakes over and over and over again. Like it made the entire novel feel like a third or fourth draft. It just didn't feel complete. I couldn't connect to any of the characters and yeah, I just, I just couldn't do it. So like I left off on the second book, um, Children of Virtue and Vengeance. Um, I didn't even start it. Like I, I want to, but like at the same time, I'm just, yeah. And I believe it's supposed to also be a trilogy. So I don't know. Okay. And the last series that I DNF'd is the Darkest Mind series by Alexandra Bracken. In this series, we do follow um, the tale of Ruby and how basically she, as well as 98% of the rest of the 
younger kids slash teenagers are infected with this infectious disease um, called the idiopathic adolescent acute neurodegeneration disease. And so the, the small percent of the kids that do wake up after having this disease because it just took out that entire gigantic portion population situation, yeah, just more authors killing children. And we find out that they wake up and they have acquired these psychic abilities. And the government now made aware of this entire situation are basically rounding up the leftover kids and weaponizing these children. I remember when the trailer first came out for the movie because it was made into a movie. And I was like, oh my gosh, this looks super cool. This looks super fantasy-ass type situation. I love super power tales and just everything like that. However, the entire series became so drawn out and slow and I was being told more about the streets that they were taking to get away from these governmental figures and everything instead of what was really happening and what these children were feeling. I honestly just could not connect to any of like the narratives. I felt for Ruby because she was a bit of like a little sass frass type situation. She was headstrong. Um, she was strong willed and I thoroughly appreciated that in her character, but it just became so monotonous. I got to book three in the afterlight and I didn't make it past chapter five. Like I just didn't care about any of it anymore. And I feel so bad because I even like, um, I told my one coworker about it and he went to go pick up these books and everything. And I mean, at least he finished it. All right, you guys, that is all that I have for today. That is my entire DNF book series that I have so far. If you have DNF'd any of these series, please let me know down in the comments why or why not you did. Um, and if you if you guys think that you can change my mind, on any of these series that I DNF'd. Also let me know down in the comments. Please like, subscribe, and hit that bell if you do like this video. I try to post new content every single Friday. Yeah, I hope to talk to and see you all soon. All right, you guys, be blessed. Um, bye. <laughs>